Today I will show you how to create a unit test with Sikuli and debugger Swingui. First of all, you need the Sikuli Java library. You can check if it is imported under libraries. For testing purposes, I implemented a very simple GUI. It has only two elements, one button and one text box. If you leave the text box empty while pressing a button, the screen will go red. Else, the screen will go green. Under test packages, create a new unit test. The basic object of Sikuli is the screen. With this object, you can click on regions on the screen. You also need to show the main window inside the unit test, which I implemented earlier. Now we need to make images of the GUI in order to let Securely select the right regions. So start the GUI. I am using the window snipping tool to select the right regions. The first one is the text box. I have created a folder named btns under my NetBeans project. I will save it under textbox.png. Create another region for the button. Save it under button.png. Now we need to detect if the text box was empty. For this we need screenshots of the red and green parts. It is good practice to wait 500 milliseconds for the GUI to render. Now we will call the click function to click on the text box. To make sure the GUI is rendered correctly, I wait another 500 milliseconds. Now you can type in some data. The next part is to click the commit button. The unit test will only succeed if the screen is green now. For this purpose, securely defines a function if a given image is defined on a screen. Basically, it's finished now. 
So let's check if the unit test fails. As you can see, the unit test has successfully finished. But a good unit test should also be able to fail. So let's try to type in nothing. As you can see, the unit test has failed now. Thank you for watching my screencast for testing out securely.